Hello everybody, you're welcome back again to the Reggae Appreciation Society. The sound system is one of the pillars of reggae culture and history. It was the medium through which street music could bypass the snobbish radio selectors and hit the people directly in the streets. It became popular in the ghettos of Kingston, Jamaica in the late 1940s and first hit Great Britain in 1955 after a Jamaican immigrant established the first sound system in England called the Duke Vin Sound System. By the mid-1970s, sound systems had become a phenomenon in the UK, with every city boasting of several competing crews. In that era, the greatest operator that Great Britain and indeed the world would ever see would rise to prominence. His birth name has remained a mystery, but he would be known by the name Jashaka, aka Zulu Warrior. As at the time his death was announced yesterday, the 12th of April, 2023, he and his legendary Jashaka sound system had become an institution in the reggae and all black communities in general over a period of more than five decades. His tireless work and devotion to Rastafari as well as the original traditions saw him become a stalwart and defender of reggae through the 1980s and 1990s when dancehall rose to displace Rastafarian themes in reggae music. Jashaka sound system became something of a Noah's Ark for heavy set, spiritually based Rastafarian reggae music and preserved the essence of the sound up until the resurgence that commentators call the Rasta Renaissance that came up in the 1990s. A musician, teacher and consummate philanthropist, let's take a look at legendary Jashaka, the godfather of UK sound system culture. The story of Jashaka began in Clarendon, Jamaica, where he was born. In addition to his name, his date of birth is still something of a mystery, but it's estimated that he was born in 1949. His family moved to the UK as part of the Windrush generation that was the wave of West Indian immigrants that moved to Britain to work and help in the reconstruction of that country after the Second World War. His family settled in South East London in 1956. In the 1950s and 1960s London, the Windrush generation often held house parties as a way of strengthening the community and managing homesickness through music. These gatherings coupled with the rapidly growing sound system culture sparked a love and passion for music as a way of life for Jashaka. And by the late 1960s, he had started following a local sound system called Freddy Cloudburst. It was with this outfit that he began to cut his teeth in the business and started traveling around the country. By the late 1970s, he was now a veteran and had developed a Rastafarian consciousness as well as a keen interest in the American Civil Rights Movement. This all inspired him to begin his own sound system as a vehicle to deliver his Rastafarian beliefs. He began to assemble equipment for his own sound outfit and named it after the 19th century Zulu warrior king Shaka. In very little time, he amassed a cult following and a large fan base due to his heavy spiritual content, high energy rhythms, his personality and hypnotic dance moves that bore a striking similarity to that of Zulu warriors. In 1980, his street credibility had earned him a role in the movie Babylon, directed by Italian director Franco Rosso. In the movie, he played himself, operating his sound system in a sound clash. In the same year, he launched his Jashaka music label, which released music by a large number of Jamaican and UK artists such as Aswad, Max Romeo, Dread and Fred, and the Twinkle Brothers. As the 80s unfolded, dancehall and slackness had literally overrun the market where Roots Reggae and its henchmen like Jashaka had ruled undisputed. Though still one of the most popular sound systems in the UK, his audiences had been whittled down to just older, hardcore followers. Many of his contemporaries succumbed to the trend and made commercially sound decisions of selling out to the slackness. But Jashaka, in a true test of his Rasta credentials, stayed true to his spiritual roots and weathered the storm for more than 10 years. By the 1990s, a new generation of Roots Reggae fans had risen. These new listeners were fed up of the slackness and raga sounds. They longed for the traditional sounds that were synonymous of the 70s and early 80s Roots Reggae scene and they began to gravitate towards Jashaka's sound system gigs in even greater numbers than before. In 1992, he set up the Jashaka Foundation which has carried out philanthropic projects in Jamaica, Ethiopia and Ghana. The foundation's most recent works in Ghana include the purchase of seven acres of land on which a community center is going to be built, as well as the distribution of medical supplies, wheelchairs, books, and carpentry tools to different communities in the capital of Accra. 
It's not common knowledge, but aside from Jashaka's work as a sound system owner, he was also a youth social worker for years and an advocate for young people to go study geography and history. Into the 2000s, Jashaka's stock kept rising and in 2002, he played before one of his most massive audiences at Central Park in New York. Unlike other sound systems that would sport lots of DJs and selectors, Jashaka's sound system was essentially a one-man show. His warrior style inspired a multitude of reggae artists and sound systems in the UK, including the Disciples, Iration Steppers, Ja Warrior, Abashanti, and Jashaka's own son, Young Warrior, whose sound system is currently receiving a lot of acclaim and accolades. The impact of his influence on the UK reggae scene is magnificent and would probably require a one-hour video to really break down his impact over the past five decades. He actively toured with the sound system all over the world, particularly in Europe, USA and Japan until his death on the 12th of April 2023. Jashaka has gone on to be with Ja and left the stage as the greatest sound system man ever, a great community leader, pioneer and teacher, the likes of which we most likely will never see again. So there you have it. Thank you for watching the video today. Please leave a like, subscribe and until next time, Ja bless.